so against my better judgment, I'm finally playing this, the British Swing Fire. It is a relatively low BR ATGM carrier that wasn't very special before, but after the ATGM nerf, it's one of the few vehicles that still has responsive missiles. It's a tank that requires a lot of strategy, but you know what else requires strategy? Today's sponsor, Watcher of Realms. Watcher of Realms is a next-gen role-playing game set on the mystical continent of Taya. It's a magical place with over 100 unique heroes to choose from, with each hero having a fantastic 3D model. The effects are top-notch, and set a new bar for quality in mobile RPGs. There are over 30 races and 8 factions, which provide a lot of variety when choosing your team. There are no objectively bad heroes, so you don't have to worry about sidelining a character you like just because they aren't good. Explore a grand world with a range of rich storylines, locations, and lore. Each hero has a unique backstory for you to unearth. Each stage poses new challenges that you'll have to adapt to in order to win. Fight against menacing bosses on each level, and defeat them to earn rich rewards. You can also team up with guild partners to challenge the epic dragon and increase your leaderboard ranking. Watcher of Realms contains some refreshingly diverse RPG elements. Collecting artifacts, gear, and legendary skill dust from dungeons can make your heroes even stronger. Watcher of Realms just launched, and they're holding a competitive team event to celebrate. Choose which team you want to back, and you'll have the opportunity to win a variety of prizes including iPhones, Xboxes, and Nintendo Switches. The event link will be in the description, so make sure you don't miss out. You can download the game by clicking my link in the description, or by using the QR code that's on screen now. Thanks again to Watcher of Realms for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. If we get a city map, we're pretty much just done for, I think. Oh. This isn't much better. So, fun fact for you. I have never been on this side of the map. Never. I only play this area here. Now, is there a spot where I can get some elevation while also having gun depression? Nope, hello. Um. What? What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's an ATGM. Hold on, how much penetration does our missile have? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That was a kill steal. Yeah. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I really wanted to kill something. I'm going to apologize real quick. Now everything is right in the universe. Yeah, I don't think this is a great position to snipe from. Okay, let's see if we can sneak into a good position. Be very, very sneaky. That's a rock. That's not very sneaky. Getting stuck on a boulder. Hello. Please penetrate. Thank you. Another IS-6? Wait, 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 wait! Yes, it was. I am shocked that that branch didn't eat the missile entirely. I don't know what our minimum range is. I feel like it's pretty bad because it fires the missiles in a very high arc. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there, <laughs> there is no way. Well, hopefully we can get some more wide open maps. I don't want this to be one of those painful videos. Oh, uh, this uh, still isn't great. Why am I getting all of the low tier maps all of a sudden? I could have sworn you wouldn't get Ash River outside of like 1.3. Well, there's a 1.3 tank right there. I think for close in engagements, they should let my commander lean out of the hatch with a law. That would be, uh, that'd be good, I think. Hello, mouse. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, is he gonna keep swinging his turret? That's gonna be annoying. And we're dead. I... <laughs> Why am I playing this thing? It's gonna be a long day, isn't it? Okay, well, at least this map is uh pretty good, I think. Wait, this is not where I want to be, I don't think. I want to be behind this hill. Uh... Yeah. That's not good. Okay, he's dead. We're alright. 
Now I will deploy smoke to make myself invisible, because that's just a thing, apparently, now. And I will get onto the hill that I actually want to be behind. I think we should have the gun depression, but I'm not quite sure. You would think that that camera thing could depress quite a lot, but apparently not. Yeah, we're not getting a ton of gun depression, unfortunately. If I was in the M901, this would be a different story. How does our site not have more depression than that? It's just a camera on a stick. Oh? Maybe? This seems to be working. I can't see because of the smoke. Maybe pull back a little bit. Um. What? How, dude? I'm gonna lose my mind. How did- I still don't understand how that guy hit me. Like, I, I look like I'm behind the hill. Is that guy just staring at me? <laughs> okay. Hold up, that's a- that's a something. Go on, my son. Please don't notice my missile going right for you. Thank you. Yeah, I think I found the strat for using this thing. You just have to somehow set the camera to depress more using the uh, sight distance control. I don't think the enemy team is too happy with me, even though I only have, like, three kills. Hurry! Get the kill! Hurry! Our table! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think he is very dead. Oh, there goes another one. Let's see if we can do something. Damn. This is the worst map for us. Where am I gonna go? Where could I possibly go on this map? Well, I was pretty much just gonna sit here, but I think the striker has the same idea. Actually, I have no clue what he's doing. Oh, God. Well, at least we're out of that match really quickly. The issue with most ATGM vehicles is that they are just so niche. At least the ones where the ATGM points up, so you can't really use it in CQC. Like, even the M901, you can get a few kills in CQC, but Type 60, Swing Fire, stuff like that, no dice. Now I'm hoping that I can just set up here behind cover, but I don't think anyone's going to go this way. Yeah, there's no way anyone's going to be dumb enough to go this route. Oh. I saw a guy for half a second. Please be unaware that I am targeting you. Yes, he was. Okay, at least one person was dumb enough. Now, can we support this M103? Oh god, another turn three. Hurry, missile, hurry! Thank god. Go, missile, go. Go, missile, go. Yeah. This is actually working, how? Unfortunately, even with how close we are to that T-44, he can still dodge it. How have they not killed this T-44 yet? 
Oh, hello. Why are you aiming at me? I'm not the one that shot you. Also, why can't my missile fire? Why? <laughs> why? I didn't shoot you. Go AML. Go. Oh. He, uh... <laughs> he did not go. I tried to... I can't see. I blinded myself. I think maybe I'll try to get in the defilade over here. Hopefully this mouse cannot see me. I have a feeling that he can. Oh, that actually killed him in one shot. That's surprising. Go on, missile. Yeah. That guy has a vendetta against me, I guess. That was the T-54 that tried to shoot me. Go on, missile. Go on. I can't see where the missile is. Insert dumb meme about missile not knowing where it is. The missile knows where it is. Oh, I only have uh, two missiles left. Probably shouldn't waste them firing at planes. I want to know what that guy's job is. He's just staring at the gunner. I wonder... Okay, we actually can use this in close quarters, I think, if we uh, do the scroll wheel thing. Yeah, it's pretty usable, I think. Let's see if we can test my hypothesis. Oh, hey, it's us, but better. <laughs> Now that I know you can do that sight control thing, I think this might be better than the M901, honestly. <laughs> that guy got trolled pretty hard. I was about to ask where my missile went, but I think I figured it out. The uh, wire extending into the sky provides a clue. I'm actually going to take out his... Nothing, apparently. Uh, I'm actually going to take care of you. Because the Samoa scares me a bit more than a mouse. Hopefully I can take out his uh, transmission. Can this guy even see me? Yeah, I think he sees me. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. We have expended quite a few missiles for three kills. This Carnarvon's not having a good time, is he? He just, he, he keeps getting shot and he is unbothered. There's something right next to us. How on earth did I actually hit that? <laughs> I thought my missile just went into the sky. Actual javelin moment. I think now is the moment where we get bombed. So I'm going to get away from this Carnarvon. I have no clue how we hit that STRV. Consider my mind boggled. Ah, and he killed himself doing that. I hope it was worth it. Well, that gives me more ammo, so. There's something right next to us. Yeah, something tells me I'm not going to be able to hit it at this range. Greetings. Oh, what? <laughs> Again. Oh, I don't, I don't understand how we're hitting them so close. Oh well, we got a decent number of kills. I think this is the first down tier we've gotten so far, and it's on a pretty bad map for us. But now that I found out you can use this in CQC, albeit not very effectively, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I am making a terrible decision right now. 
Oh god, what is that thing? Oh, it's an EBR! Reload! Faster! I'm dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a, a terrible decision. So yeah, that's the swing fire. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, at least after I figured out you could do the sight thing. Still not great, but it's still better than using tow missiles as they are right now. Overall, pretty okay vehicle, if not a bit frustrating sometimes. If you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.